everyone. Once again, welcome back to my channel, Dara Space Inox. As all of you know, every week I make a video relevant to gate, uh, relevant to end semester exams, job, and some of the internship opportunities for the engineering and science domain. And today we are going to learn another problem based on shockwave, and this is precisely for a reflected shockwave. And this problem we have taken from Gas Dynamics book by E. Radhakrishnan. Now, before as it is a reflected shockwave problem, so let me clarify what is reflected shockwave. Reflected shockwave itself reflected from the wedge produced by a train or a series of shock waves in the duct formed by the wedge and the solid wall as it is in the same provided in this question and across the each shock and the reflection the Mach number of the flow is getting decreased and what happens when the shock wave hits a wall a shock wave then strike a solid wall and reflects from the wall generates a new shock wave the flow uh, downstream of the reflected shock wave as denoted as a zone 3 right that is a new shock wave since the flow in the zone 2 is parallel to the wedge and it strikes the solid wall at angle theta as shown in the description and using the same concept we will able to solve this problem now let's go through the problem a mac number two air stream passes over a 10 degree compression corner the oblique shock wave from the corner is reflected from the corner is reflected from a flat wall which is parallel to the free stream as shown in figure compute the angle of a reflected shock wave relative to the flat plate and Mach number downstream of a reflected shock wave. In this particular problem, uh, first, what are the given data? M1 is given, which is 2 in the upstream, and theta value is 10 degree. And what we have to find out here is that as due to this reflection, it created a three zone, 1, 2, and 3. And uh, as I have already explained about this reflected shock wave, here it's forming a new shock angle. And here we need to find out the Mach angle of this Mach number of this and what is the angle of reflected shock wave relative to the flat plate so as we have said here that uh, um, okay first let's proceed these are the given data let's proceed then side by side we will be declaring what are the given things so as per the given data this problem uh, for a shortcut we will solve using gas table and the same problem can be solved using conventional method if you miss my previous videos which has been solved for conventional method using formula you can go through the i button or also in the description box now let's proceed using gas table refer a gas table from a oblique shock wave for the mach number value 2 and theta value is 10 degree so from there you can find the corresponding value of shock wave angle beta that is coming around 39.31 and the Mach angle around 1.641. So now we got from the given data we know the region 1 and so we got all the values of beta i that is 39.31 and uh, we got also got the value of the region 2. Now further we will be proceeding for uh, region uh, next region for the region 3 now we, now again we will be referring oblique shock wave for the respective value of mac number as 1.65 and theta value as 10 degree now here as it is the flow on the region 2 is moving parallel to the wedge right so uh, the flow which will be moving as the new shock wave is formed right so we need to subtract the amount of beta value is been created so now let's uh, let me show you what is the procedure now i will refer the mac m2 and theta value 10 and i will get the m3 and beta 2 value which is coming around 49 and uh, beta m3 is around 1.3 as you can see, as per the statement which I have given, the Mach number is going to drastically decrease. Now, here as the flow which we are considering, it's going to be parallel to this region 2. 
right now we have to find with respect to this um, flat wall or solid wall not from the wedge so what you have to do as the wedge inclined it as a 10 degree so we need just need to subtract it to get our reflected shock wave angle so that is the value is around 49 minus 10 approximately we are getting around 39 degree so as our answer states that reflected shock wave angle is going to be 39 and the Mach number is around 1.3 I hope this video was really helpful for all the students and do let me know if you have any requested video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe with the Needy Fellows.